because I am I am going to teach uh, how to balance the chemical equation with it. Okay, so okay, let me ask you this: NH three plus O two giving NO plus H two. Do you know how to uh, balance this? Hmm. I am. Your mic is off. No, I don't. Okay, that's what I'm gonna teach today. But let others talk. Yeah. Yes, Ruth. Where is Shazan? Shazan is. Okay, so we will start. Adham, where are you? I'm here. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, Ruth, that day I told na ki I'll tell about ki how to balance the chemical equation with a trick, right? Yeah. So here's it. Yeah. Yes, yeah? yes Ruth. Anything? Okay. No, I said yes. Yeah. So let's say this is my chemical equation, NH3 plus O2 giving NO plus H2O, okay? So now how to balance this chemical equation? This is a, this is difficult. So what we will do, we will write, we will write A, okay? A here, A, B, C, and D, okay? First we will write A, B, C, D. Then what we will do, we will see that here is my N, this N, hydrogen here and here my oxygen. Now we will see ki how many, see, first in my H, there, uh, in the left hand side, nitrogen is only one, right? Only one nitrogen, yes, right? And in the RHS, this is my RHS side, this is my LHS side, and in the RHS side, how many nitrogen? One. Only one. So what we will write? We will write C. Okay. C. Okay. So let's say this is my first equation, okay? Now, next we will uh, deal with this hydrogen. Here, how many hydrogens? Ma'am, uh, on the right hand side, there is, sorry, on the left hand side, mm -hmm. there is three, and the right hand side, there is two. Yes, so it will be 3A, and in the RHS side, how many? Is 2D. So 2D, yes. So this will be my second equation. Okay, now for the oxygen part, how many oxygen? Uh, on the right left hand side there is two and in the right hand side there is uh, one. Here is one and here is also two. No, so we will not write two. We will write C plus D because plus sign is there, Nadham. Oh, okay. Okay, so C and plus D. Okay, Rudra. So this is my third equation. Okay. okay. Now what we will see, we will, uh, yes, now we will see ki those, let, uh, those alphabets from which C. Here A is more used. One, two. Okay. Two A. How many uh, B? Only one B. B one only. Yes. And how many C? C. That's two, two C. Huh. And, and how two B. D also two. Okay. D also two. So A is two. C is two. D is two. So we can take A, C or D anything as A is equal to one or we can take C is equal to one. Or we can take D is equal to 1. We will assume. So let's say I'm taking A is equal to 1. Okay. We can yes, take anything C here. To one. Huh? What C will also be equal to 1. Ah, C also, D also. We will just assume. So let. Okay. Let A is equal to 1. Now what we will now what will happen? C. If here my A is 1, then then here is what A is C equal to C also 1. C will also be 1. And if we will take this uh, and then like uh, one would be also equal to two D. Yes. So, Let's say I'm taking my second equation. Three A is equal to two D. It means three is equal like to two D. Yes, ma'am. So will that just be like D is equal to three by two? Yes, D is equal to three by two. And uh, what about this? This is two B. It doesn't have a. And C is one. So three one plus three by four. Right, right three by two. So it will be what? 5 by 2, right? This one. And it will be 5 by 4. So all the values we got. A, B, C and D. Now what we will do? We will just put in this equation. So what is my A here? A is my 1. So NH3 plus what is my B? 5 by 4. So 5 by 4 O2. Okay. 5 by 4 O2 giving giving what? Giving C and O. C is what? 1. So only 1 NO plus. And what about this? D H2O. What is my D? D. D is H2O. 
now what we will do see here this equation is uh, not looking like good right because mm -hmm. the denominator is also there then what we will do any idea what we will do here well huh? like uh, if it's decimal we keep, keep on repeating mm -hmm. Ma'am, could we just like write one plus one by two? No, Ram. We will multiply this by four. Oh. If yeah. we multiply this equation by four, then what will happen? This denominator will cancel. Cancel. And it's three. The two will become, you know, two. So it will become four and two plus. Here, what will happen? Six H two, right? Now, see my chemical equation is balanced. See here, N is four. Here also, N is four. H is twelve. H is twelve. O is ten. O is four plus six. Ten. So this was hard. Ki how many? It was not hard at all. Hard. But this was hard, right? Ki if this trick wasn't there, then how to solve just it? By, I just by seeing it, it's very hard. Ha. So this was easy. Now let me discuss one more question. Then you guys will be like, oh, wow, wow. Okay. So C four H ten plus O two. Rudra, you got this? Any doubt here? No. Okay. See, C four H ten O two giving H C O two plus H two. What will? What is the first step, Anam? Um, uh, we have to write like A B C and then C D. A B C D. We have to write. Then what we have to do yes. for C for H? We have to find for O, right? Yes. So for C, how many here? Four A. This one four. Four A. Huh. And here, how many in the uh, I is like uh, in the so C is uh, C is one. Yes. The, C. So four is equal to C. Yes, ma'am. My first equation. Second is what? Second for H. How many H that side? Uh, on Let's H just... that side, uh, there is uh, so that will become ten uh, A. Yes. Be equal to two D. Two D. Very good. So this is my second. What about the oxygen here? Oxygen. Oxy third. Oh, sorry. Second. Yes. Uh, so what oxygen, oxygen? So that will become B two would be equal to uh two B would be equal to D two C. Oh yeah, it's two C two plus D plus D. And this is my third equation. Now what to check first? We, have, we have to check like uh A A. Hmm. And C how many times? Two times. Two times. C how many times? Two. two right. Two times. C also two times. Two times and B is one. So we can take anything as equal to one. Yes, C. Right. A so C so I am taking A is equal to one. We can take B also. We can take C also. Okay. Then, then, then one would be equal to C also because sorry four would be equal to C. Yes. If A is one, then four is equal to C. C. And what about and this? Then uh also like uh then ten ten to two d d would be five five. What about this? Uh, one second, Adam. Safia, here we are uh, discussing that uh to solve the uh, chemical equation with a trick. Okay, so do you know how to solve this without a trick? NH three plus O two giving NO plus H two. Safia, do you know? Safia, are you there? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. What? What? Your voice is not audible, Safia. Uh, do you know how to solve this chemical equation? Like how to balance this chemical equation? I'll try to solve it right now. Okay, but okay, first you try it, then I'll tell you the trick. Okay, so let's switch to this question. Yes, B is equal to five. So uh, and then we have to put uh, D and C value there, and C is four, so it'll become eight plus five. Uh, eight plus five is thirteen. So two B uh then become you know thirteen by two. Right? Is one. Now we will put this. A is what? A is um, one. A is one. C four H ten plus B. Plus B B is uh, three by two, thirteen by thirteen two. by two three. Yes, O two giving C C is what? C C is four 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 C O two. And what about D five? Uh, D is five. Now here also denominator. Uh, we can, uh, why we multiply by two? Yes, we will multiply this by two. Then this. No, uh, can I just can I uh, tell what it would be? Ah uh, yes, yeah, sure. Two C four. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, H10 plus 13 mm -hmm. O2 uh, is uh, 8 CO2 mm -hmm. plus 10 H2O. Very good. 
Now check around this chemical equation is balanced or not. C here. C is carbon is 8. Okay. Yes, here also carbon 8. 8. What about H? 20. What about H? 20. Okay. What about oxygen? Oxygen, uh, there is uh, 13 into 2, which will become 26. 16 plus 10. Oh, wow, 26. Now this chemical equation is balanced. But this was hard. C4H10 plus O2, CO2, H2. What to do? Just simply, you have to write A, B, C, D. Man, what? could you just, could you just uh, give a question? Then, question? Yes, question? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'll give so notebook was trying. Okay, so solve this one. Just a minute. I like solving this. No? I like solving CuO plus NH3 giving Cu plus N2 plus H2O. Yes. Rudra, you also try to solve this. Rudra, you got this now? This trick? Um, oh. They are getting you spin again. What? I didn't really understand properly. Can you explain it? H3, A2, C4 plus N2, plus H2, oh. uh, I've written down the question. You can explain. Ah, okay. So, C is Rudra. Uh, let's say this is my chemical equation. Now, how to solve this? What we have to do? Safya, you can also see. See, what we have to do? First, we have to write the A, B, C, D. Okay. A here, B here, C here, and D here. Okay, then what we have to do here, how many carbon the LHS side, this is my LHS side, this is my RHS side. So how many carbon here in this LHS side, there is four carbon, right? Carbon is four. So what we will write? Four A. And in the RHS side, how many carbon? Only one. For this one, Ma'am, for this one, I have to write uh, also E. Yes, you have to write also E, yes. So here, how many carbon? Only one carbon. So 4A is equal to C. This equation you got, Ruth, please switch on your mic, Ruth, please. Yes, it will be easy for you to understand, yeah. So 4A is equal to C you got? Hmm? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Because here my carbon is 1. That's why I'm writing C here. Now, what about this? Uh, what about this? What? Uh, Safia, uh, you solved this. Please try to understand this trick, Safya. This will easy for you to, you know, yes, solve. Uh, please show the first question again. Let's say, okay, this is the question. NH3 plus O2 giving NO plus H2. Just a second, Ruth. Okay, question done? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yeah. So, see, Ruth, this is what, uh, what my carbon is here 4 and here my carbon is 1. That's why I'm writing 4 is equal to C. Why? Because my here A, here B and here is C. That's why 4A is equal to C. What about this hydrogen? Here, how many hydrogen? Okay, 10 hydrogen. So what we will write? We will write 10A. 10A. And here, how many hydrogen? Two hydrogen. What we will write? 2D. So 10A is equal to 2D. This part you understand? This equation you got? Rudra? Yes. Okay. So what about the oxygen part? How many oxygen here? Two oxygen. So we will write 2B. Here, how many oxygen? Two oxygen. And one more oxygen. So what we will write? 2C plus D. Why D? Because here is only one oxygen is present. Right? Only one oxygen is present here. That's why we will write 2C plus D. Now simple mathematics, simple calculation we will apply here. How many C? How many times A is coming? A is coming one time. A is coming. Yes, Safiya. Yes, I got the answer for the first question. What is the answer? Four, yes. Four, 4 NH3 plus 5 O2 gives 4 NO plus 6 H2. How you got this? Okay, how you got this equation? Uh, yes, ma'am, I just solved it. You solved it. Okay. Okay, so you try this one, this question, Safia. Ma'am, I did it by uh, taking the LCM of the... Huh? Of the what? Yeah, I took the LCM. Okay, so try uh, try solving this equation also. Cu plus NH3 giving Cu plus N2 plus H2. You have to balance this chemical equation. Okay, so write it fast. Done? Wrote? Yeah, yes, ma'am. No, no. Uh, no, not about you, Rudra. Safia, you wrote this? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, Rudra, yes. We, uh, we were discussing this now. Here, how many times my A is coming? See, one time, two time, 
only two times. How many times C? One time, two times, two times. How many times D? D also two times. So A is coming two times, B is coming two times, sorry, C is coming two times and D is coming two times. Both three are coming to two times. So what we will do? We will take any one of them, A, C or D as is equal to one. Like let A is equal to one or we can write let C is equal to one or we can write let D is equal to one. Okay, Rudra. So if you will write let here I am letting that okay, a is equal to 1. If I will write A is equal to 1, then what will be the value of C? C will be 4. Uh, yes. Yes, ma'am, I got the answer. Uh, what is the answer? It's 3CuO plus 2 NH3 gives 3Cu plus N2 plus 3H2. Yes, very good. So you know how to balance the chemical equation. Very good. So, Rudh, till, till this much you got. Now you have to simply, you know, put the value of A, B, C, D in this chemical equation and you have to see, okay, that denominator is there. We have to remove this denominator. How we will remove this? We will multiply this by 2 and then you got this final chemical equation, balanced chemical equation. Okay. Now, Ruth, you try solving this question. CuO plus NH3 giving Cu and 2 h 2 Fast. Okay. Uh, Ruth, you wrote? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So try this. So, uh, Safiya, in the last class, we discussed about this, salts. So, do you know what is salt and how many types of salts, how we will prepare a salt? Do you know? If we will add acid plus base, then we will prepare a salt. Salt plus water, right? Just a minute. Yes, yes Safiya? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So last class we discussed about the salt key, how to prepare a salt. If we will add acid plus base, we will get a salt plus water. Let's say my acid is hydrochloric acid. My base is NaOH. We will get a salt NaCl plus this water H2O. Okay. And what about, and uh, okay, you tell me salt is acidic, basic or neutral. Salt is what? Salt we, uh, salt, we will say that, okay, salt is acidic or we will say salt is basic or we will say salt is neutral. What we will say? Um, the uh, three, all of them. Yes. Yes, very good. Salt is all of them. Salt is neutral as well um, as... It, it depends on the strength of the acid and base. Uh, it depends on the strength. We, uh, why? Because if we are adding strong acid and strong base, then we will get a neutral salt. If we are adding weak acid and strong base, if my strong base is there, then as per the strong base, we will get a basic salt. And here strong acid, weak base, as per this strong acid, we will get an acidic salt, right? Safiya, actually today, uh, uh, last class, I told them, uh, okay, you guys don't know how to balance the chemical equation. I'll tell you the trick. That's what I'm discussing, okay? So, yes, uh, just a second. Adham, you got the answer? No? No, I'm I'm doing the last part. Ha, huh, do. Okay. Yes, Safiya. So salt is neutral as well as acidic as well as basic. So here, do you know what, uh, like, what are strong acids? What are weak acids? Safiya, do you know about this? Safiya, you, why you wasn't there in the last class? Yes, ma'am. I, I wasn't able to attend the last class. Why? In the ma'am, I'm done. Madam. Yes. Ma'am, I got uh, three, uh, three C4 uh, o plus 2NH3 gives 3C4 plus N2. It's not plus four, it's CU. Yes, 3CU plus? 3C... Uh, no, which one? Wait, let me write. Yes, tell once again. 3? Three? 3C4. Three it's not uh, 4, it's U, copper. It's oh. CU. Okay, yes. 3CUO plus? Oh, I actually was thinking that was 4. Uh oh, okay, no, it's CU, it's copper. Then your then your whole equation is wrong. <laughs> okay, try once more. This is copper oxide, na? CuO. Okay, I thought it was four. Okay, come on, fast. Yes. Uh, so. Can you show the question again then? Okay. Uh, CuO plus N H three. Here also CU. Okay. Okay, C U plus N and two plus H two plus H two. Oh yeah. No, no, take it down. 
Okay. Rudra and Arham, you got this? Ma'am, doing the last step. Last what? Step. The last step. Okay. Uh -huh. What about you, Rud? Rudra. Yes. So uh, I'm. I was asking about Safiya, right? Ki what are strong base and what are strong base? Do you know? Yes, Safiya. Tell me about strong, strong assets, and you should join class from the starting. You know, see, strong assets and strong bases. Um, strong bases are the one which have more hydronium ions. Mm hmm. So what are they? Yeah. Ma'am, done. Okay. What is the answer? I have uh, three Cu uh, O mm -hmm. plus two N H three is uh, it gives three Co C plus uh, three Cu plus N two plus uh, three H two O. Very good answer is correct. Now you know how to solve. Now you can solve in thirty seconds, right, Adam? No, it will still take time. But what? It will still take time. But why it's taking time? <laughs> okay, just a second, Sabri. Uh, okay, last question. You will solve. Okay. This question you have to solve in one minute, or else you will be disqualified. <laughs> no, it's not like disqualified. Just you have to solve this in one minute. Okay, NH three, NH three. Okay, plus Cl two. Write it. Giving N two plus NH four Cl. This is the next question. Done. Done. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, Safia, what are strong acids? Strong acids are those acids which dissolve in water to release what H plus ions, right? Yes. And what are strong bases? They also dissolve in water to release OH minus ions. Correct. Now you tell me what are strong acids. Name them. Uh, uh, hydrochloric acid, nitric yes. acid, nitric acid also, sulfuric acid. Uh -huh. And what are weak acids? These are strong. What are weak weak acids? Uh, uh, lactic acid, and citric acid, tartaric acid, carbonic acid, phosphoric acid, right? Carbonic, phosphoric. Yes. And what are strong bases? What are strong bases? Uh, sodium hydroxide. Yes. NaOH, potassium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide. One more. Only these three are strong bases, and what are weak? Weak is only one, which is MgOH twice, magnesium hydroxide. Okay, so these are the strong acids and weak acids. See, I wrote that day, and see, if I have to uh, valid, uh, if I have to give that why salt is neutral, acidic, and basic, then we have to write these equations. Strong acid. Let's say my strong acid is hydrochloric acid. HCl, my my strong base, my strong base is sodium hydroxide. Yes, strong base is sodium hydroxide. It's mixing and giving salt plus water. Here, H2SO4, NaOH, mixing. These are strong acids and strong bases. Mixing and giving Na2SO4 plus water. Right. What about the second part? Second part is weak acid. My H2CO3, see here. H2CO3 is a weak acid and it's combining with a strong base means my potassium hydroxide is a strong base. So it's combining with that giving what? Giving basic salt plus H2O, right? Because if your base is strong, then it will give a, then it will give a basic salt. If your acid is strong, it will give a acidic salt. Okay. So here also my weak, sorry, my strong base, my weak, sorry, strong acid, weak base, because MgOH twice, MgOH twice is a weak base. It will give it acidic salt. This is my acidic salt plus water. Okay. Rudra, you got the answer about the CuO1. Rudra, you audible, am I audible to you? Yes, ma'am. Uh, you got it? Yes, ma'am. Uh, what's that? Ma'am, could you show question again? Because I may have done something wrong. Again wrong, I think. This is the question. So, okay. Rudra, tell me. Tell me this. Tell me the answer. CO. Ma'am, if I label 1, 2, 3, uh, A, B, C, so hmm. then, then it will become B because C and C are, uh, are the same. So B would be equal to D. But what? then L2 and then L. So 2B would be equal to D. No, I am. C. Okay, wait. 
First, Ruth, tell me the answer of this. Come on, fast. Then I'll discuss this. Ruth, are you there? Please tell me the answer of this question. Yes, ma'am, one second. Ah, fast, so that I can discuss with second ones. So, if you're from next class, you have to join, okay? Or else, see, I've already discussed about the salt, about this preparation of salt, all things I've discussed. But today, I was discussing this tricks to solve the trick to balance the chemical equation. Come on, Ruth, tell me. Okay, so let me do this question. See, Aram, here is A, B, C, and D. Okay, yes. now how many N, H, and N C, L? C, L. How many H? Ruth, oh, you are. C, L is a hole. <laughs> yes, C, L is a, it's chlorine now. Nah. Oh. What is L? L is what? That's why I was. Wait, ma'am, I got the answer. Yes. Ah, um, it's 3 CuO plus 2 NH3 is 3 Cu plus N2 plus 3 H2. Very good. This is the right answer. So you solved uh, like this one, like this trick only, or any other method you applied? Ma'am, I used my own method. I don't. Okay, your own method? Okay, good. So solve this also. Last question. Okay. Um, so Safia. See here. Safia. The normal salts are what? The neutral one. Acidic salts means we have to add the strong acid and weak base. Basic salt means we have to add the weak acid and strong base. Right? Yes. Safia, yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Now preparation of normal salts. Preparation of normal salt is what? First, we will discuss about the solubility, which I have already discussed. And we will talk about the insolubility. Solubility is what? See, in the solubility, there are some four or five points. So first point is all salts of sodium, potassium, and NH4 are soluble. That you have to keep it in your mind. This, this is very important. That all salts are so it means all salts of sodium, potassium, and NH4 are what? Are soluble. Okay, just a minute. Yes. All Let's finish the question once. I'm going to see. Okay, I'm I'll say uh there was NH3 plus Cl2. You mean is NH1 substance? What? Is NH1 substance? NH1 substance? Yes. What NH1 substance? There is like NH1 element i'm saying what oh okay i got it i was what? thinking it was like the 130 it's on sandwich, right oh okay no 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 n n okay. separate h separate and then cl okay go n nitrogen h hydrogen cl chlorine okay yeah. come on solve fast yes safia so about the solubility all salts of na k and nh4 are soluble next point is what c NaCl means C like this NaCl K2SO4 K2CO3 NH4 NH4 twice SO4 all are what soluble salts next point is all chloride are soluble all chloride are soluble means here zinc chloride calcium chloride copper chloride except what are the exceptions the exceptions are what are insoluble salts these are the soluble salts and if I'm telling about the exceptions exceptions are the insoluble salts and what are insoluble salts insoluble exception salts are lead chloride silver chloride and mercury chloride this you have to memorize this you have to you know go through every time all the notes which i am giving you have to go through once so here all chloride are also soluble all sulfates are also soluble sulfates means so4 to minus like iron sulfate copper sulfate Na2SO4. But what are the exceptions? Exceptions means what, Safya? Here, exceptions means what? It means that these are insoluble. Yes, exceptions means these are insoluble salts. In this, sulfates are also ex exceptions like lead, PB is lead, B is barium, Al2 aluminium, Ca calcium. These are the exception salts, means insoluble salts. And the fourth one is all nitrates and nitrites are also soluble salts. And in this, uh, in this point, there are there is 
no exceptions so you have to memorize that solubility is what all salts of na k nh4 are soluble all chloride are soluble all sulfates are soluble except those exceptions and all nitrates and nitrites are also are also what soluble and what are insoluble carbonates bicarbonates sulfide sulfite are insoluble salts bicarbonate means H hco3 minus sulfite is so2 3 minus okay so if i am asking you that pbno3 twice is insoluble or soluble tell me pbno3 is soluble or insoluble salt i have one minute is uh, it's soluble how it's soluble because it's a nitrate because it's a because it's, it's a, a it's a nitrate yes it's a nitrate ha huh. it's a nitrate and what about this pb pb is pb is lead right so you have to see this no3 that yes near i wrote no? no3 minus is a nitrate and what about this k2co3 is soluble Ma in yes adam i'm getting 4 by 6 uh, uh, minus 4 is equal to c 4 by 6 minus 4 is equal to c no wrong okay. some calculation mistake are hum okay yes so um safia what about this potassium carbonate is soluble or insoluble uh, um, uh, potassium is soluble but carbonates are insoluble hmm. so i don't know about that you don't know about this okay so see here this is what co3 and here i see yes this is what k2 k2 is what potassium so this point is very important this point is the prioritized point of each and every point here i already wrote ki na k and h4 are soluble so if you are seeing that okay k then okay it's a soluble salt if if there was na then it's also a soluble if nh4 it's also a soluble salt okay just you have to see the first one and you have to take the soluble or insoluble salts because this point is very important wherever na k and nh4 you have to mark that salt as a soluble salt okay okay ma'am ma'am can you discuss the questions are sir okay ah uh, i'll discuss the question yes sir okay so let me discuss the question first safia from next time you have to be present in my class otherwise lots of topics you know yes so this is the a b c d and what about na n here n is a here i will take a hmm. a is equal to 2 c plus 4 d why 4 d only d oh uh, again wrong only d okay now c a is equal to 2 c plus now i got my mistake <laughs> now you what yes so should no. i no it's okay i'll um, do it ah uh, do and tell me the answer yes so, so this was the insoluble uh, sol soluble salt what about the how we will yes rudr anything okay so actually we have to discuss about this preparation of normal salts but the normal salts is of two types right soluble and insoluble that we have already discussed that all these chloride sulfate nitrite nitrate are soluble carbonate bicarbonate sulfide sulfite nit uh, are insoluble no i'll just get my uh, i'll just get my charger um, and what about this preparation of soluble preparation of normal salts how to prepare this normal salt first we have to do first what we have to do first is the process of direct combination now what is this direct combination all salts are made up of elements see let me ha uh, huh. this is the direct combination reaction in this method what happen ki two elements get combined this is my one element this is my another element they get combined to form a salt okay two elements means one is metal another one is non metal they both are combining to give us salt means direct means combining two elements to give a salt easy yes safia yes ma'am two elements combining to form a salt here also iron and chlorine iron is what iron is a metal chlorine is not a metal they both are combining to form a fcl3 which is a salt na sodium chlorine is combining to form a nacl which is also a salt hello shalini ma'am hello ma'am is this assignment time 
it's 5 o'clock i log in before 5 minutes you can take your time no problem okay okay thank you just five more minutes i don't yeah, sure. yeah you can take your time no problem Okay. I will send you the solution. What? I will send you the solution. What? I will send you the solution. Ah, you send it to me. You send it to me. Okay. So uh, this is this was the simple displacement about the competition by acid, and uh, these were the electrochemical series. It's already five. I have to log off now. Ah, uh, Safia. Okay. So this direct combination was what we have to combining. We have to combine two elements to get a salt. what was direct uh, what was this simple displacement you have to see the composition by acid also i have discussed and here uh, yes rudra you got this what is the uh, value yes ha uh, tell me come on fast tell how many nh3 cl2 giving how many n2 plus how many nh4 cl yes rudra tell me ma'am i got a 4 by 6 minus 1 if we can see I am. I I'll tell this. <laughs> It's already five. You got again wrong. <laughs> okay. We'll discuss no, this later. I think I just took the wrong values. Ah, you took the wrong values. Okay. We'll discuss this later. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. So yes.